Shalom, shalom, good morning, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. And the Father brought me to the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verses 41 through 43, for today's prophetic word, and it reads, So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He had him ride in a chariot as his second in command, and people shouted before him, Make way. Thus he put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Amen. Beloved, God had Joseph go from the pit to the prison to the palace. Why? Because Joseph had to go through a process in Jesus' name. To get to the palace, you have to go through the process. There are no detours in Jesus' name. You do not want to make an easy way out of your process, beloved. Do not detour your process and delay your destiny nation in Jesus name family what the father is saying in this hour the pain that you may be experiencing the pressure that you may be experiencing God is saying in this hour it creates greatness and greatness creates opportunity in Jesus name beloved you cannot demonize your process the things that you're going through is for your destination it's for your destiny it's for your purpose that's why God had Joseph go from the pit to the prison to the palace because Joseph had to go through the lessons to get the blessing. Joseph had to be tested before God blessed him in Jesus name. And the same thing applies for you in Jesus name. You need to start looking at your situation. You need to start looking at your process as a blessing in disguise in Jesus name. Because what God is doing, beloved, God is just applying pressure. And that pressure is going to create greatness, beloved. God is going to release you into the world in the name of Jesus. God had Joseph go through these things because there was a bigger picture in Jesus' name. The same thing applies for you in Jesus' name. Beloved, you cannot demonize your process. You should be saying, you should be thankful for your process and the things that God has you going through right now because they're creating something within you in Jesus' name. That's what this, that's what happened to Joseph. God was creating his character. God was building him up in the spirit. Sometimes God has to bring you to your lowest of lowest to raise you back up in Jesus name to get the glory in the name of Jesus. Family, you have to understand the process. The process is what makes you. The process is what shapes you. The process is what molds you into greatness. In Jesus' name, beloved, if you have no test, you have no testimony. In Jesus' name, be grateful for the tests. Be grateful for the pain. In Jesus' name, because it is creating greatness within you, around you, and through you. And every way that is attached to you, in Jesus' name, family, the Father knows exactly how much pressure to apply in your life in Jesus name he knows it beloved it's not what it looks like in the name of Jesus it's not what it looks like do not let the devil distort the way you're looking at things beloved change your perspective in this hour I hear God say tell my children to change the way that they're looking at things beloved you have to put your spiritual glasses on and realize what the father is doing in you in this hour in Jesus name beloved you may be in the pit today but you'll be in the palace tomorrow in Jesus name beloved that's how quick God can move and turn your situation around within seconds just like that beloved you have to understand what God is doing in this hour. He's creating his masterpiece. Beloved, you are God's masterpiece. You asked him. You asked God. God, use me. God is using you in this hour. God is using you. This is no need. This is no time to complain. This is no time to complain in this hour in Jesus' name. This is the time to accept the assignment and to know that the attacks come with the assignment and keep moving forward. Keep pushing in Jesus name. Jesus, when Jesus was down here, he didn't have it easy. He didn't have it easy at all. At all. Beloved, the same things applies to us. We're not going to have it easy, but we are warriors. We were trained up for battle in Jesus name. We were trained up. 
In Jesus' name, the seasons that God had you isolated, beloved, that was your training in the name of Jesus. God has already trained you. You have the tools. Beloved, you have the blueprint within you. You just got to move out on it in Jesus' name. You cannot be scared of the process. You cannot be scared of the process, beloved. There's going to be some times where you don't have anybody. There's going to be some times where you don't have no one to talk to in the physical realm. But guess what? God is always there. God is always sending out messages. Remember, everything is spiritual in the name of Jesus. You have to realize your process. You have to accept your process and don't try to skip your process. Don't, don't try to take an easy way out. There's no easy way out to greatness in the name of Jesus. Beloved, this thing is for you. This thing is for you. It's made just for you. Nobody is going to be able to do it like you in the name of Jesus. Family, you have to, you have to understand the process is what's creating you. In Jesus' name, God is not going to put too much on you. God is not going to apply so much pressure that you cannot bear. In Jesus' name, God knows exactly what he's doing. Trust me, beloved. He knows exactly what he is doing in this hour. In Jesus' name, beloved, many of you have been in the pit. Many of you have been in the prison. The prison, it, it, it reminds me of isolation. In Jesus' name. It reminds me of ice, that time that God just has you in solitude. That God, that, that time that God just was training you up, working through you, working around you, beloved. You have to understand, many of you in this hour are headed to the palace in Jesus' name. Many of you are, have already went through the pit experience. And you went in the prison experience, which was isolation. Beloved, now it's your time to go into the palace. Now it's your time that God dresses you with the fine linen in Jesus' name. God pours new wine skin in you in Jesus' name. God gets the glory for your story in Jesus' name. Beloved, many of you in this hour is going to the palace in the name of Jesus. Beloved, God's favor is over you in Jesus' name. Beloved, the things that you went through, the situation that you're going through, the things that you're experiencing right now, beloved, they are for the palace because that's your transitioning. God, and I hear God say a smooth transition. You know that this is going to be a smooth transition. God is moving you out of the prison into the palace in this hour. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour? Beloved, your process has qualified you to go into the palace. Beloved, your process, your process was a down payment to go into the palace. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour? Many of you are coming out of the prison. That, that season of the prison, that season of isolation, that season where you didn't know if you were coming or going, that season where you, you, your mind wasn't sound, that season where you was just rumbling in fear. God is saying, beloved, you are moving. And this is going to be a smooth transition, says the Father. You are moving into the rim of, of the palace in Jesus' name. God is bringing you in here, beloved. God is saying welcome in Jesus' name. Beloved, you are entering into the palace in this hour. Beloved, your process has qualified you in Jesus' name. Beloved, you are greatness in the name of Jesus. God has created greatness within you in Jesus' name. Beloved, this is your season. This is your hour. This is your moment. It's your turn now in Jesus' name. I hear God say, it's your your turn now, beloved. You've been waiting. You've been fasting. You've been weeping. God is saying, beloved, now it's your turn. In Jesus' name, beloved, the pit was just to build your character. The prison was just to isolate you so I can give you the strategically downloads for your next. God is saying, beloved, we're headed into the kingdom. We are headed into the palace, beloved. These are going to be some of the greatest days of your life, family, in the name of Jesus. Beloved, you went through the, through the hell in Jesus name. God is saying beloved he is bringing you into a place of peace. He is bringing you into a place of rest in Jesus name. Beloved the reset is here in Jesus name. Beloved the fire didn't kill you. The fire didn't harm you because you are fired 
fireproof in Jesus name. Beloved, God was not going to let the devil take you out. God was not going to let your enemies take you out in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it all worked for your good in Jesus name. You have to understand that. You have to believe that. You have to walk in that in Jesus name in this hour. In the name of Jesus, the pit and the prison was never, it was never temporary. I mean, it was never permanent. It was only temporarily in Jesus name. God is bringing many of you out of the prison in Jesus name, out of the pit in Jesus name and taking you into the palace in the name of Jesus. Do you understand what the father is doing in this hour, beloved? God is saying he is bringing you out in Jesus name. He is bringing you out of that situation. He is bringing you out of that, out of the, the bondage. God is saying, beloved, we are moving. We are transitioning into the palace in this hour in Jesus name. Family, receive this prophet word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. Beloved, your process has qualified you in the name of Jesus. Your process, your process, beloved, you didn't skip it in Jesus' name. Those of you who actually did the work, those of you who actually said, God, by any means necessary, I'm going to ride this thing out in Jesus' name. Beloved, God is saying in this hour, we are moving into the palace. We are moving into the palace in this hour in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Family, receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. The Father is saying in this hour, beloved, you were faithful in Jesus' name. God is saying you were obedient, beloved, and your obedience has brought you into the realm of overflow in Jesus' name. Beloved, many of you are about to flow in the spirit. Many of you are about to have overflow in your finances. Many of you, God is about to do some magnificent things in your life, things that you didn't even go in prayer for. God is about to expand you in this hour, beloved. God is about to do some amazing things for your obedience beloved you were disciplined in the pit you were disciplined in the prison god is saying beloved there is reward for being obedient do you hear what the holy spirit is singing in this hour beloved you will no longer be in the prison you will no longer be in the pit beloved you are going to the palace you are going into a season of rest you are going into a season of overflow of a Jesus name. God is saying, beloved, in this 
power in the name of Jesus. Many of you, in Jesus' name, many of you, beloved, are going into the realm of the palace in Jesus' name. Beloved, you have been qualified. God sees you. God is moving you. God is moving you in this hour in Jesus' name. God is giving you the keys in this hour in Jesus' name. Many of you, God is up, your life is about to change overnight in Jesus' name. God is saying overnight success in the name of Jesus. It's going to happen just like that. It's going to happen just like that, beloved. Put your faith on it in Jesus' name. For we walk by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus. That's why God is saying, beloved, you cannot demonize your process because there is a blessing. There is a blessing in the skies in the process in Jesus' name. You have to realize that, beloved. Thank God for what is coming. Thank God for what is coming, beloved, because it is manifesting in this hour. Beloved, you have stepped into the realm of overflow. Do you know your obedience? Your obedience has brought you into the realm of overflow has brought you into the realm of abundance has brought you into the realm of uh, you can be able to saturate in the things that God is about to pour out in your life do you understand that the, 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 that things are not what they're seeing in this hour beloved we are under an open heaven do you understand that there is an open heaven upon you in Jesus name glory to God family receive this prophetic word beloved God is saying many of you beloved many of you are headed into the palace in this hour in Jesus name and your obedience is what did it and God is saying there is a reward for you in Jesus name beloved there is a blessing with your name on it coming your way in Jesus name family receive this powerful powerful prophetic word in Jesus name beloved your pit experience is over beloved your prison experience is over beloved your best days are here in Jesus name you're going to be blessed when you come in. You're going to be blessed when you go out. Beloved, God is making you the head and not the tail. God is making you a lender and not a borrower in this season. God is making you above and not beneath in this season. Do you understand what the Holy Spirit is saying? Things are turning around in this hour for you. Don't let the devil trick you in this hour. The devil cannot stop this in this hour. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in this hour. In the name of Jesus, beloved, this is your time. This is your season. Beloved, welcome to the palace in Jesus' name. God says, tell my children, welcome to the palace in Jesus' name. Beloved, you have made it in Jesus' name. Beloved, congratulations in Jesus' name. Beloved, God is about to do some amazing things for you. God is about to do some amazing things for you because you was disciplined in the last season. And discipline will take you a long way in Jesus' name because you didn't demonize your prices, because you didn't complain plain about the assignment. God is about to bless you, beloved. God is about to bless you, beloved. God is giving you your flowers in this hour in Jesus' name. Beloved, you deserve it in Jesus' name. Family, receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. Beloved, welcome to the palace in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.